Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome again to the People's Church, Newton Abbey. We're delighted to bring you a little update this morning as to what's been happening here at PCN throughout this past week, and also what we're looking forward to this coming weekend, and in particular on the Lord's Day. But first of all, God bless you, and we trust that you are well. And we trust that you are receiving from the Lord what you need at this time and the fullness of his richest blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And we're glad just to connect with you again, to share with you what the Lord has been doing and also to encourage you as well to keep looking to the Lord and keep believing him. You know, last weekend we were here again in the sanctuary on Sunday morning. Wonderful to see people coming from all over with their families and gathering together in the name of the Lord. And Pastor George last Lord's Day morning brought a message to really make us think. It was called, Your Victory Can Bring Others Hope centered on the valley of Elah in that great battle of David and the giant Goliath and how David overcome and as David overcame a nation rose because of it. Your victory can bring others hope. That's something to really contemplate. You know what God does for us has wide implications and a powerful effect even on other people. So be inspired by that. And then on Sunday night, we were meeting together online for our gospel outreach. And we were talking about life at the crossroads. Just that pinnacle time in the life of Moses when he came to the crossroads of life and refused the pleasures, the privileges, and the power of Egypt and chose to suffer affliction with the people of God rather to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And he chose the path of God and he made the right choice. And it was a wonderful response last Sunday to the messages. They're still available online on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and our Instagram page as well. Why don't you send those messages to someone? It's a wonderful opportunity we have of sharing the word of God and seeing what God can do even in people's lives. So we give God thanks for that Sunday and what was brought about in the name of the Lord. And then on Monday, we had a great call to prayer. Again, so many faithful people committing to our call to prayer. Literally hundreds of people. Without exaggerating now, hundreds of people are joining us every Monday night to pray. And that's a wonderful thing. And there's answers coming through. Do you know by the end of Monday night, before Monday night was over, we were already getting text messages that God had worked, that there was answers to prayer, and that God had worked on unspoken requests. That's amazing. It's so encouraging. And we just say to God be the glory. On Tuesday here in the sanctuary, we had the funeral of our brother, Raymond Caldwell. And we miss Raymond already. We thank God for him. And what a lovely service on Tuesday morning here as Raymond's family and friends gathered together. And we just thank God for Raymond and all that he meant to us just a real gentleman, a Christian gentleman, and we'll miss him. We really, really will. But now our thoughts and our prayers are with Phyllis and the family, and we pray that God will strengthen them, uphold them, and be their portion, and indeed for all bereaved families 
as well. On Wednesday night, we came back again for the Bible study, and we were trying to bring a practical Bible study about the importance of time. The Bible says we got to redeem the time because the days are evil. And we were talking about the danger of wasting time. You know, time is a commodity. It's valuable. And when time is wasted, it equals something. And here's the equation. Equal or wasted time equals wasted opportunities. Wasted time equals wasted opportunities. We've got to make the most of our days these, at this time in the name of the Lord. And again, that message is there. But now we're looking forward to the weekend. Pray for Pastor George right now. He's officiating at a wedding today, a lovely occasion of Emma and Phil, and they're getting married today, and we pray they'll be blessed. We pray the sun will shine on them, and their families will be blessed, and they'll have a great day there, and pray for Pastor George as he officiates at the wedding today. But we're looking forward to the Lord's Day. We're coming again on Sunday, this coming Sunday, 10.30 in the morning, and our gospel outreach online in the evening but why don't you come on sunday morning if you haven't been before this is a personal invitation to you we would love to have you with us if you haven't been in a while why don't you come back this sunday we're waiting on you we would be delighted to see you again but we are excited we are encouraged because God is so faithful in our meetings, whether they be online or whether they be in the sanctuary here, God is meeting us. People are telling us they're watching our online services and we're looking forward to doing something in the name of the Lord this coming weekend. Remember Sunday morning, come in faith, come in expectation, come determined to praise the Lord, because that's what we're doing first of all, receiving from him, praising him, connecting with him and all their brothers and sisters as well. And why don't you even bring someone with you on Sunday morning? We want to encourage you. We want to thank you for all your support and all your text messages and your encouragement that means the world to us. And please remember, we are here for you as well. But remember this weekend, remember this Lord's Day, God is going to meet with us. You're going to hear something for you, just for you. We need to hear the message of God these days. And there's going to be a message this Sunday morning here for you because the Lord is speaking to us these days. We trust you're encouraged. We trust the Lord is blessing you. We want you to know we're here for you. If you need us, please let us know. No. Remember also this coming Monday, it's a bank holiday. This coming Monday, the office will be closed and there's no call to prayer this coming Monday. But we're back again on Wednesday coming in the sanctuary for our Bible study. And we're really looking forward to that. But the Lord bless you today. We're thrilled to bring you an update. We just want to share with you what the Lord is doing and say to God be the glory. But that propels us forward in faith saying, Lord, will you bless again? Will you save again? Will you restore again? And will you heal people this week? In the mighty name of Jesus, that's what we're looking forward to. God bless you and keep you. And we're looking forward to seeing you soon. God bless for now. God bless. Mm -hmm.